guys welcome to my channel point of sales person and alternative distribution channel for insurers introduction the insurance regulatory and development authority of india IRTAI permits insurance companies and intermediaries to appoint individuals EA natural persons as point of sales persons post PS post PS are essentially individuals who are permitted to carry out activities pertaining to solicitation and marketing of insurance policy products and act as distribution channels for insurers or intermediaries in accordance with the provision of the insurance act 1938 sale and solicitation of insurance products can only be carried out by entities licensed by the IRTAI either insurers or intermediaries post PS despite not being licensed person are a qualified person as discussed below and carry on the activity of sale and solicitation of insurance product they are sponsored by insurers or intermediaries to carry on sale and solicitation activities the IRDAI in its annual reports for financial year FY 2020 and 20, 21 identified that both of product like motor insurance travel insurance personal accident insurance point of sale products one are largely re-underwritten since they are standard in nature. Typically, such policies are automatically generated by the insurer's system once the customer provides a predetermined set of information. There is little to no human intervention required in the process. The IRDAI has analyzed the nature of such policies and it concluded that the amount of training and qualification required for solicitation and sale of such policies is basic and does not require extensive understanding of the underwriting process. Accordingly, for to facilitate the growth of insurance business and to exchange insurance presentation and insurance test density and the country. The IEAR DII introduced the following guidelines to legitimize post PS to be utilized for distribution of point of sale products. Point A, guidelines on point of sale products, POS, life insurance product. Two, date November 7, 2016. Date guidelines on point of sale person, life insurance. Three, date November 7, 2016. But collect and receive it in master circular on point of sales product and persons, life insurance. Four, and B get lines on point of sale person non life and health insurers. Five as modified by circular date March 16 of 20 and 17. How can one qualify as a Pope's P? Like insurance again broker qualified person and specific person being natural persons qualified to market and sell insurance product 
post PS also need to undergo training to qualify as such. Post PS are broadly divided into categories of life and non-life, depending upon the type of training undertaken by them. The IRDAI prescribes model syllabus for both categories of post PS. The training requirements for both life and non-life post PS are the same. Bearing the content of the syllabus, any person who is at least 18 years of age and has successfully cleared his 10th grade examination is eligible for training. The training involves 15 hours of in-house training followed by exams conducted by insurers or intermediaries. On the basis of the model syllabus, successful candidates are provided a certificate and appointed as post PS in accordance with the agreed terms and condition. How does this help insurers and intermediaries? The fundamental benefit of appointing post-PS is that the, it allows market participants to def, diversify their distribution network and ensure reach and accessibility to a wider section of prospective customers. With a larger pool of customers that become accessible by utilizing post PS. Insurers will be able to ensure organic growth and stability. This in turn is expected to lead to higher insurance penetration in India. The IRDAI annual report states that insurance penetration in India it's severely low at 4.20 degrees as of March 31, 20 and 21. Given that the eligibility requirements for post PS are low and the training is not intensive, any person can become a post PS. This enables insurer and intermediaries to leverage their exiting work for us post PS for the solicitation and sale of point of sales products. Most of the existing workers force is well qualified and already well versus with the insurance business. This can be done at next to no cost. In calculating a new distribution channel with good know-how and expertise. It is interesting to note that this option has not been exercised by majority of market participants. Analyzing recent market trend, the IERDAI annual reports record that as on March 31 and 20 and 21, the total number of post PS injured by insurance market participant was. At 27 uh, and uh, 901 by the breakup of post PS appointed by each type of market participant, it provides in the infographic below. With insurance products being the most active in training and appointing post PS with the 4 billion pointed 9.585 post PS appoint as on March 31, 20, and 21. However, this number account for the total number of post PS appointed by 106 brokers, the approximate average number of post PS per broker being 4,241. Further, the numbers point toward the concentration of post PS in the intermediary categories, with brokers and corporate agents counting 
four a combined five point fifty five point four hundred and fifty two plus ps more than half of the industry data. okay guys don't don't forget to like and subscribe and share to your family to your friend and to someone love bye